Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One of the reasons I know that some of you have never experienced God, not only have never experienced Him, have never felt Him, connected with Him in any way, is because you commit your life to Him, you accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, you're all gun ho and then there comes that straw that breaks the camel's back. And then all of a sudden, there is no God. Don't tell me about this, that, I don't want to hear it. God isn't real. If God were, he wouldn't. Well, you know, let me say this to you. If you have a mother or a father, and you were supposed to really get a real great, uh, maybe a big bicycle that you've always wanted, and you did something that maybe put your brother or sister at risk because you disobeyed your parents. And they tell you, you're not getting it. You're not going to have that anymore. Matter of fact, we're going to let you stay at grandma's house for the summer. We don't even want to look at you. We couldn't believe you even tried to do some mess like that. Now, you're disappointed. You're displaced. You're, you're, uh doing without all the things that you're used to. There's such a major change in your life. You know it's temporary, but you don't like it. Now, are you going to run around as mad as you are with your parents? I don't have any parents. They're de they don't exist. They've never existed. They're not real. I was made from a Petri dish. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> and you know why I don't think so? Because you know your parents are real. You know it. You're mad at them. If they weren't real, you wouldn't even be mad at them. <laughs> they caught you red-handed and you don't like getting caught. Because you don't like having to be grounded. You don't like paying consequences. Well, when God makes you angry and he does make us angry from time to time we don't know everything he's doing his ways are not our ways his, his thoughts are not ours his, everything he does is above ours so no figuring him out but sometimes that gets us angry yeah waiting on him can get us angry doing without something having something taken away or someone can make us very angry but once you have connected with your Father which art in heaven. You may be angry with him, but you never stop believing in him because you know he's real. You will never be able to say out of your lips, there is no God. Now, you may disown him because you're mad at him, but you still know he's real. You may pout for 10 years, 20, maybe even 30 if you have that long. But you know he's real. You may not want to be bothered with God anymore. You may be angry at him for taking your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, your mother, your father, whoever. But you know he's real. It's when you've never experienced God that you can so easily walk away from him and go into other religions and say, well, there's no God, there's no, there's no any of that, the Bible's a fairy tale, the whole thing was a farce and made up. Yeah, well, see, nobody made up your parents, and you know it. You may be angry with them, you may never want to speak to them for the rest of your life. But, you know they're real. Okay. So, my point to you is, if you're at the point where you're telling people, now God isn't really real. I, I tried to walk with him. He's not really real. None of that is real. That means you've never connected. That's all that means. You failed to encounter him. You've never met him face to face. You dropped 
off the ship. You jumped, you jumped ship. You, 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 you uh, fell overboard. You, you took a flight before you got to see him face to face in your spirit. That's the only reason you say it. You've never seen it. So it's easy to say when you've never seen. It's easy to have that attitude when you've never connected. But once you make that connection, baby, then it's not a matter of is God real or not. It's a matter of do I want to be bothered with him or not because I'm angry with him. That's a whole nother story, a whole nother book, and a whole nother issue. But don't run around telling people he ain't real. Because if it's easy for you to believe it, you've never met him. And all I say is, take another dip, pursue him, and find out for yourself how real he really is. It'll blow your mind.